Well, right now, a group of dedicated bird lovers are trying to get an owl back to its home in the Central Park Zoo. The Eurasian eagle owl flew off after a vandal cut the security mesh inside its exhibit. Yeah, and even though it is brutally cold outside this afternoon, officials with the zoo say they are more worried that the bird won't be able to survive on its own in the wild because it spent more than a decade in captivity. Iowa News reporter Jim Dolan has much more from Central Park. Well, just look at him. Look at how magnificent he is. Even on the ground, he's magnificent. It's no wonder they came from all over today to peer through binoculars and high-powered camera lenses for a chance to see Flacco, the Eurasian eagle owl that escaped from the Central Park Zoo and has been sticking close to home so far. Edmund Berry spotted him last night. It's a beautiful animal. All owls are beautiful. This one was just particularly graceful and special. It had been in a zoo environment for a long time, so it's probably, I'm not, I don't know, but I assume one of the first times it's flown in a long time, it looked like it enjoyed it. In a statement, a spokesperson for the zoo said the enclosure Flacco had been in, where the blue tarp is now, was vandalized, and that is how he escaped. That is being investigated. The eagle owl can have a wingspan of six feet or more, and he loves to eat rodents and small animals, so there's plenty of food for him here. Even in frigid temperatures today, the park filled up with avid birders moving through the park, hoping to get a glimpse. Lucy and her friend came from Brooklyn. When I woke up and I saw it, and I, I live in Brooklyn, and I was just like, I have to come out here um, and see if I can spot it. So got here, and it's hanging out in that tree up there. Yeah, today Flacco spent most of his day on a branch at the top of a tree near the southeast corner of Central Park, just a block or so from the zoo. But Edmund did get to see him fly last night. It looked as though it might not be able to fly. It was resting on the ground. There was a lot of noise and commotion. I was worried that it wouldn't be able to fly, but it spread its wings and flew to the nearest set of trees, which were these ones right here. And uh, it just rested right at the top as natural as could be. You may have read that various agencies are trying to get Flacco to come down from the tree or trying to capture him. Look, Flacco is a predator with a wingspan as long as I am tall and Talons like daggers. There's no capturing Flacco until he wants to be captured. Right now, he seems to be enjoying his place at the top of the Central Park food chain, looking down rather dismissively at all the commotion he's causing below.